Let's bow our heads in the word of prayer. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, our Lord God, our Father, the creator of heaven and earth, Father God, we come in the name of Jesus and no other name. We give you all the honor, glory, and praises. Oh, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you for our lying down last night. Watch the words all night long. But early this morning, you woke us up, Father God. We could have stayed in the bed, but your body, the Holy Spirit, you told us to woke us up this morning. In our right mind. Blood running home in our veins. Give me that, take me our limbs. Open our eyes to a world we never seen before. We just want to say thank you. Thank you for your grace and your mercy. Thank you for blessing our families this morning, Father God. We thank you for Pastor Mark coming up at 90 down the highways and byways, Father God. Bless his entire family, Father God. Touch him right now. Put a word in the heart for your people right now. We need a word this morning. Father God, we need to be saved this morning. Father God, we just want to say thank you for your grace and your mercy. Father God, search our hearts, our mind, and our soul this morning. Anything that like sin or evil, we ask you to remove it right now, Father God. Anything that pleases you right now, Father God, we ask you to create in us a clean heart, oh God. We do the right spirit in us. Build us up and strengthen us where we are weaker and fill it with the Holy Ghost. Fill it with wisdom, fill it with knowledge, and fill it with understanding. We need understanding, Lord. We need the Word of God. That's why really we need to be concentrated this morning. Father God, we ask you to concentrate all of the members here, Father God. One by one, Father God. Take their heart, Father God. Circumcise their heart right now. Move them in the right direction, Father God. Let your Holy Spirit lead and guide us right now. Father God, we can leave out this place that we can tell real boys and girls. That the word is a sin. Death and the gift of God is eternal life. If you believe in him, please we trust you, Lord. We as able, we as able, Father God. Right now the change is right now. We got a change right now. We need a change right now. We need your love right now. We need your grace and mercy right now. We need your help right now. We need you right now. We can't do it by ourselves. We need you right now. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we pray, Lord of the heart, say amen. 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 Lord, I thank you. Lord, I thank you for my
mountain. But you brought me from a mighty long way. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Guide me, O oh, thy great Jehovah. Pilgrim through this barren land. I am weak, but thou art mighty. Hold me with thy powerful hand. Bread of heaven, bread of heaven, feed me till I want no more. Guide me, oh, 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 oh thy great Jehovah, oh, 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 through this bed. I am weak, but thy almighty hold me with thy powerful hand. kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. Lead us not in temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thy is the kingdom, power, and glory forever. Dear Heavenly Master, I want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for all that you have done for me, dear Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord, for your mercy, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for your grace. Thank you, Lord, for seeing fit to wake me up this morning, close to my right mind, the Heavenly Father. Thank you, Lord. You do so much for us each and every day, the Heavenly Father, and we got to say thank you for it, the Heavenly Father. We do stuff that, that we know we, we deserve in the punishment, but you give us that mercy, the Heavenly Father, and I got to say thank you, the Heavenly Father. Please, Lord, continue to watch over us and keep us safe, the Heavenly Father. Please, Lord, forgive us for our sins, the Heavenly Father. For we have fallen short of your glory, the Heavenly Father, each and every day. But you continue to bless us in and high, the Heavenly Father, because of your mercy and because of your grace. Thank you, Lord, for Jesus, the Heavenly Father, for dying on the cross, the Heavenly Father, so that we may be able to commune with you, the Heavenly Father, so that we may be able to, to live in your righteousness, the Heavenly Father. We thank you, Lord, for that blood, the Heavenly Father. Please, Lord, help us go out and not see the faults in others, the Heavenly Father, but to show love to each and every person, the Heavenly Father. Please, Lord, pierce our hearts, the Heavenly Father, with the Holy Spirit, the Heavenly Father, so that we can walk upright, the Heavenly Father, and be an example for those that don't know the Heavenly Father. Please, Lord, bless this church service, the Heavenly Father, so that our mind frame and our hearts, the Heavenly Father, will be in tune with you, the Heavenly Father, so that we won't leave here the way that we came, the Heavenly Father, that we leave a new creature, the Heavenly Father, that we leave our old ways behind, the Heavenly Father, and we walk upright, Lord, Christian-like, the Heavenly Father. Being examples of Jesus, the Heavenly Father, throughout this world, the Heavenly Father. Give us the courage, the Heavenly Father, to help those that need help. Give us the courage, the Heavenly Father, to stand up when people are being mistreated. Give us the courage, the Heavenly Father, to speak out when things are not right, the Heavenly Father. 
Please, Lord, continue to help us grow in you, the Heavenly Father. In us growing in you, the Heavenly Father, we'll be doing more in the community, the Heavenly Father, and more in our households, the Heavenly Father. Please, Lord, bless this church service, the Heavenly Father. Everybody that is here under the sound of my voice, the Heavenly Father, and those that are at home, the Heavenly Father, if they don't have the strength to come this week, the Heavenly Father, please, Lord, give them the strength to be able to listen, the Heavenly Father, or show up next week, the Heavenly Father. We don't know what people are going through, the Heavenly Father. All we know is the word of prayer, the Heavenly Father, and we pray to you right now, the Heavenly Father, because you have all power in your hand, the Heavenly Father, and we know that you are a healer, the Heavenly Father. Please, Lord, heal those that need healing, the Heavenly Father. Forgive those that have sinned, the Heavenly Father, and continue to bless those that you have gave life, the Heavenly Father. In Jesus' name I pray all these prayers. Amen.
Amen. Hallelujah. Good morning. Hallelujah. I'm the Lord thy God, which brought thee out of the land of Egypt, out of the house of bondage. Thou shalt have no other gods before me. As we are called to worship, if you don't mind and enable, would you please stand to your feet for the response of reading? It's going to be led by Reverend Vera Spears. Coming from your hymn, the 579. Five seventy nine. In your Bible, it'll be coming from Hebrew eleven, chapter one through ten. Hallelujah. Now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Through faith, we understand that the world was framed by the word of God, so that the things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. By faith, Enos was translated that he should not see death and was not found. Because God had translated him. For before his translation, he had this testimony that he pleased God. But without faith, it is impossible to please him. For he that comes to God must believe that he is, and that he is the Lord of him that gives his seeking. By faith, Noah being warned of God of things not seen as yet, moved with fear prepared an art to the saving of his house, by the which he condemned the world and became heir of the righteousness which is by faith. By faith he sojourned in the land of promise as in a strange country, dwelling in tabernacles with Isaac and Jacob, and heirs with him of the same promises all. For he looked for a city which has foundation, whose builder and maker is God. Thank you, Reverend Spears, for leading us. Go ahead, choir. Y'all going to sing? Amen. Let the church say amen. amen. If you love the Lord, say amen. If you know, it's a blessing to be in this place on this day. You ought to just show God some praises. Amen. Go ahead and put your hands together, church. Amen. Put your hands together. Amen. God is, God is so awesome. Amen. He keeps blessing us in spite of, amen, ourselves, in spite of many of our shortcomings. The Lord keep on blessing you and me. And that's enough to just tell God, thank you. Amen, for another day's journey. For he kept us another week. Sometime up and sometime down. Yet he never left us, nor did he forsaken us. Held us in the hollow of his mighty powerful hand. And I know that's a blessing. And the reason I can tell you it's a blessing, because Satan is still on the loose. And God has made him behave. Amen, allow your golden moments to roll on a little while longer as we give him glory, honor, praises, and all of the thanksgiving. Yeah. Amen. It is by, amen, his power that we move and live and, and have our being. And because of that, we give him glory and honor. As we come this morning, we acknowledge, amen, the preachers, amen, Reverend Spears and Reverend Spears and, and Reverend Green, to the deacons of this church, visiting deacons. Thank the Lord for Amen, the brethren. Amen, to the deaconess, to the ministers, wives, and widows, and specifically to my wife. Thank the Lord this morning, amen, that we are yet alive. Yeah, these old fever veins, amen. 
still got the use and the activities of our limbs. And most of us are not what we used to be. Amen. But sister and brother, it's still reasonable. Yes, sir. Amen. We are able to get about a little bit. Sometimes yeah. we move with, with aches and pains. Yeah. But it's still reasonable. Yeah. 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 Amen. We, we wanna wanna run sometimes. We can't run like we used to. Yeah. But it's still reasonable. Yeah. We are able to get up, amen, dress ourselves in a respectable manner, yeah. amen, hallelujah. Give right. God all the glory, yes, sir. honor, praise, and thanksgiving, amen. To the ushers that's on duty, amen. To the choir, the drummer, the musician, and to each of you, we thank you for taking time out of your busy schedule to be in worship on this our Lord's Day. We're not going to keep you long because we want you to come back next Sunday. Amen? Amen. Hallelujah. As we worship together this morning, I, 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 there's so much going on in the world. Amen. I went to the store yesterday and the man was out there raising sand and I, I said, what, what's the matter? He said, somebody done shot my niece. They killed my niece. I said, who killed your niece? Man up the street. Amen. So much happening. Amen. And we got so much to be thankful for. Amen. We got so much to be thankful for. As we come to worship, I pray that God would not allow you to leave like you entered in. Um, welcome. They'll welcome someone on this day. Okay. Thank you, Sister Gross. Good morning. Good morning. I stand before you to welcome you to New Providence Baptist Church where we have Sunday school every Sunday at 10 o'clock and corporate worship every Sunday at 11.30. Do we have any visitors today? No visitors, so I consider everyone in here family. Amen. So I expect to see you again on next Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> Amen. To God be the glory. Thank you, Sister Gross. We're delighted to have you worship with us on the day. And no, and Sister Gross has just informed us. You're always welcome. Um, announcements. Anybody with an announcement that we need to hear? Amen. Okay. Amen. All ushers, I asked to meet with with that president next Saturday, twelve forty five. This is Dawson. Amen. Any other announcements from anybody? Anybody at all? The Lord gave us a new convert last Sunday, uh, Saturday. Amen. Ma'am, if you can, if you can have your your child here next Saturday at twelve o'clock for baptism. Amen. We're looking to baptize next Saturday, brother, uh, Father and Deacon Board. Baptism will be at 12 o'clock next Saturday. If you come and think you might want to get baptized, amen, bring you some dry clothes. Amen. The Lord blesses us day in and day out. Amen. As we continue to worship together. Um, altar prayer. Altar prayer. Amen. Deacon Pierce, you feel like taking us to the throne of grace today. You feel like doing altar prayer. Amen. If you need prayer, if you need prayer, Amen. Would you just stand where you are, or you can come to the altar as Deacon Pierce come and take us to the throne of grace. Amen. There's people I know that we need to lift before the Lord. Amen. I got a sister-in-law who's recuperating as well as one of my nieces. Hallelujah. To God be the glory.
Heavenly Father, we come once again. Oh, hallelujah. Thanking you, Lord, for your Son, Jesus Christ. Mm -hmm. Lord, we thank you, Lord, for the Holy Spirit. Lord, we come thanking you, Lord, for what you have already done for us, Lord. You brought us from the beginning of time, Lord. Mm -hmm. And we just thank you. Mm -hmm. Heavenly Father, not when I was born, Lord, but from the beginning of time, Lord, I thank you. Lord, it's going to be your strength, Lord, that carries on through this journey. Lord, we rely, Lord, we didn't come here to stay, Lord, we're just passing through. So while we're here, Lord, guide us and lead us in the way you would have us to go, Lord. Heavenly Father, let you be seen in our action, Lord. Rely, Lord, that it's your principles that get lead us and guide us, Lord. Your principles are what you say is right in, right in this world for you. You brought us here, Lord, that you, we, we could praise you, Lord. And we don't know why that's to praise but you, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you, Lord, for New Providence Missionary Baptist Church, Lord. And his family, Lord. Every member, Lord, whether they be in Turner County or not, Lord. We just thank you, Lord. We thank you for all the doors that open in your name, Lord. Heavenly Father, no matter what persuasion they are, Lord, we just thank you for it, Lord. Heavenly Father, give us the mind and the heart, Lord, to love each one of us, Lord. No matter what they look like with our eyes, Lord. But let our spiritual eyes and our heart be open, Lord, to whatever come before us, Lord. Heavenly Father, you say you'll never leave us of a sickness, Lord. So, Heavenly Father, no matter who I go in this world, Lord, I realize, Lord, that you are there, Lord. Somewhere the word says, nobody, if you go to hell, Lord, you are there too. So everything belongs to you. Heavenly Father, so we just thank you, Lord, for being able to be in this midst just this one day, Lord. Heavenly Father, we just thank you, we thank you, we thank you, Lord. We thank you for our pastor, Lord. Heavenly Father, we thank you for his family, Lord. We thank you for all the church family, Lord. Heavenly Father, we pray that you give us some mind and heart to do your will, Lord. Not just up here in New Providence, Lord, but out in it to the world. That's where the work is, Lord. And that's what we need you need to be in us, Lord. Heavenly Father, I pray that you lead and guide me, Lord. That I'll be able to do your will, Lord. Not into the world, Lord, all but in my family, Lord. Heavenly Father, we need you right here, Lord, in my family. Each and every day, Lord. Heavenly Father, that Heavenly Father, that I'll be an example, Lord, for them, Lord. Heavenly Father, and I thank you for using me in the matter that you're using me, Lord. Heavenly Father, and whatever is wrong with each one of us, Lord, Heavenly Father, we rely on you the only one who can fix it. Heavenly Father, that we lean on you, Lord, and trust in you, name, Lord. Everything will be all right, Lord, no matter. We rely we didn't come here to stay, Lord. We got to leave here one day. Heavenly Father, so we pray, Lord, that you say you went away to pay our play for us, Lord. So I'm praying, Lord, that I'm trying to listen at what you say, Lord, and do your will. Not according to what I think, Lord, but what you show me. I'm asking you to just show me, Lord, and show each one of us, Lord, what you would have us to do. And everything would be all right, Lord. In Jesus' name we do pray. Amen. that we need to give because the ushers to come and lift this offering God has been good to us and he has blessed us let's give according to how God has blessed us tithes and offerings
May we stand. Let's bow his. Oh, Heavenly Father, in the name of Jesus, our Lord God. We thank you, Father of God, for those that gave and those that had not. Father God, we thank you for blessing us all week long that we can give back to you, Lord, for our building your kingdom. And Father God, we just want to say thank you. For, thank you for your grace and your mercy. In the name of Jesus, our Lord and Savior, we pray. Bless this off into a hundredfold. Amen. Now we'll hear a lecture from the choir. Then after a while, we'll hear no other from our pastor, the doctor, Marvin Brown. Let's prepare ourselves. Amen. Amen.
most holy and gracious Father. Yes, Father Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob. Yes. We bow ourselves at your footstool of mercy. Right. We do so with thanksgiving in our hearts. Yes. Lord, we thank you for you watched over us another week. Yes. Held us in the hollow of your mighty powerful hand. Lord, even when we would go astray, you directed our footsteps in the path of righteousness, and we tell you thank you. Lord, sometime when you, amen, advise us to go right, and because of that which was in us, we turned and went to the left, and yet you blessed us. Day in and day out, Master, we didn't always, amen, do the thing that pleases you, but you never left us nor forsaken us. So we come at this hour to tell you thank you. Uh, Master, we thank you for keeping us, amen, safe all week long. Sometimes we were right, Lord, and sometimes we were wrong. Sometimes we were up, and sometimes we were down. Lord, every now and then we were losing, and every once in a while we were gaining. But still, you watched over us. Held us in the hollow of your mighty powerful hand. And, and Lord, morning after morning, you would give us new mercies. Then you would lead us out of the house, Master. Watch over us all day long. And at the close of the day, as the sun sets in the western horizon, you would bring us back home safe again. And then, Lord, you would lay us down, let us sleep all night. Send an angel from heaven that watches over us all night long. And early in the morning, you wake us up once again. Even this morning, Master, you woke us up with the blood running warm in our veins. We still had the use and the activity of our limbs. So we just tell you thank you. Thank you, Master, for bringing us, amen, into your presence. Now, Lord, since you brought us, feed us. Feed us with bread from heaven. Let not our coming be in vain. But as you feed us, Master, move on the altars of our heart. So much so that we are ready to receive your word and your spirit. And then, Lord, when we leave this sanctuary, let us not leave in the same spirit in which we enter. Lord, bless those under the sign of my weak voice, even those who are sick. Shut in. Lord, I pray for the widows and, and the orphans. Be mindful of the careless and the unconcerned. Lord, bless us now. In Jesus' name, we do pray. And the people of God said, Amen. 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 Hallelujah. God be the glory. In the 13th chapter of Matthew. 13th chapter of Matthew. I'm going to begin reading the 13th chapter of Matthew. I'm going to read... I'm going to read the first nine verses of this chapter. Amen. St. Matthew. St. Matthew, chapter 13. Chapter 13. Amen. Verses 1 through 9. The same day went Jesus out of the house and sat by the seaside. Great multitudes was gathered together unto him so that he went into a ship and sat and the whole multitude stood on the shore. And he spake many things unto them in parables saying, Behold, a sower went forth to sow and when he sowed, some seeds fell by the wayside, and the fowl came and devoured them up. Some fell upon stony places where they had not much earth, and forthwith they sprang up because they had not much deepness of earth. And when the sun was up, they were scorched, and because they had no root, they withered away. Some fell among thorns, and the thorns sprang up and choked them. But others fell in good, so good ground, brought forth fruit, some, amen, a hundredfold, 
some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Who has ears to hear, let him hear. Amen. The word of God for the people of God. Now I'm gonna I'm gonna do this whole chapter. Amen. Of the thirteenth chapter of St. Luke, if the Lord be willing. Amen. Hallelujah. If the Lord be willing. This entire chapter. Amen. And that has been placed in my spirit. Amen. Um, I'm going to, in this, in this part of the chapter, I'm going to talk about the sower, the seed, and the soil. The sower, the seed, and the soil. Amen? Amen. I began this chapter, amen, by being reminded of what took place, amen, in chapter 11. Jesus had, amen, come down from heaven, born, amen, of the flesh, seed of the woman, born, amen, under the law, amen, as a Jew. And he had come, amen, to the Jewish nation. Yes. But because they didn't like him, uh -huh. they, they, they didn't like where, amen, he was born. Yes. They didn't like because he seemed not, amen, to care for many of their laws, uh -huh. especially the law of Sabbath. When he reminds them that that Amen, the highest go the man the Sabbath was not made for the man, but man was made for the Sabbath. They didn't like Jesus, yeah. though he had come to them as Amen, one of them. Uh -huh. The Bible says that he had come to his own, uh -huh. and they received him not. Uh -huh. yes, How many know that Jesus will not beg you? Amen. He will knock at your door, and if you open up and let him in, amen, he'll come in. But he will never, amen, break in. He, 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 he will never knock the door down and come in. So, so he had to come to these Jews. And because, amen, they didn't like his message, amen, mm, they wouldn't receive him. So in the 11th chapter of Matthew, uh -huh. Jesus, amen, my Lord, uh, has this message that he would no longer, amen, beg the Jews. The Jews had rejected him. Uh -huh. He now extends an invitation, amen, to the Gentile. Yes. Can I get a witness? Uh -huh. And in that invitation, he says in verse 28 and 29, come unto me, all of you that labor and are heavy laden, yeah. and I will give you rest. Yeah. Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. Yeah. Amen. For I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your soul. Yeah. For my yoke is easy, yeah. and my burden is light. That's, that's, that's the invitation that, that Jesus extended, amen, to you and me. Whosoever, he said, whosoever will, let him come. But now you've got to understand that, that the Gentile had not been privileged to the law. They, they had not, amen, uh, studied the coming of the Messiah. Can I get a witness? So, so in order to help them understand the law of God, not of Moses, the law of God, yes. which is his word. Uh -huh. can, can, I get, can I get a witness? Yes. Jesus would find it necessary to help, amen, the Gentiles understand the kingdom of heaven. So here in chapter 13, Jesus uses seven parables, amen, which he called the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven. Uh -huh. These seven mystery 
amen, together describes the results of the presence of the gospel in the world at the present time. Y'all with me? Amen. A -a Amen. So he he here's Jesus. Amen. I I'm, 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 he, he made up his mind. I'm not begging, amen, the Jews anymore. I'm offering. I'm offering. So even to you, even to you, if you've not already received Jesus, he told me to remind you. You already know it, but he said, remind them that I've extended this invitation that whosoever will, whosoever will, you don't have to live in the White House. You don't have to have, amen, a baccalaureate degree or a master's degree. Only thing you got to do, whosoever we are, only thing you got to do is believe, amen, that Jesus is the Christ, the Son of God, born of a virgin, suffered on, amen, on the Pontius Pilate, believe that he was crucified, dead and buried, but he couldn't stay in the grave because early, amen, the third day morning, God raised him from the dead. So, so in this 13th chapter, in this 13th chapter, Jesus called these, these seven parables, amen, the mysteries yes, of the kingdom of God. Yeah. A mystery, amen, a, 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 in scripture, a mystery is a previously hidden truth. Yeah. Amen. That's why we, we come out of the Old Testament uh -huh. in order to really understand the New Testament. You got to know some of the Old Testament. Can I talk to somebody? And the reason I tell you that is because the Old Testament is the New Testament that's hidden. Can I, can I get it? The New Testament is the Old Testament that's revealed. That's what, this mis that's what these mysteries are about. Amen. Amen. In the New Testament. Uh, amen. The writer says a mystery in Scripture is a previously hidden truth that has now been divinely revealed unto us. And even though it has been divinely revealed unto us, the writer reminds us, but there is still a supernatural element, amen, that remains here in spite of the limited, re amen, mm, revelation. God has revealed some things to us. The writer reminds us, even though we now understand a little better, yeah. it appears there's still some stuff that's hidden yeah. that we don't understand. Can, can, I, can I talk to somebody? Yeah. Oh, help, help me, Master. So, so, so Jesus began these parables. And in these parables, in these parables, there's 13 of them, uh, he opens up, or he begins to open up the gospel, uh -huh. amen, to the Gentile. That's our job. That's our job. That not, not, not just mine and Vera Spears and Sonia Green and, and Robert Spears. It's yours. Hallelujah. The requirement, amen, for being a child of God means that you must become a witness, amen, of the gospel. Y'all with me? So in order to be able to witness the gospel, amen, you got to know. That's what Jesus said. To, to, not only must you know, you must be guided. I'm going to get to my text. You must be guided by the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. Jesus said to his disciples, y'all walked with me these three and a half years. You know, slept with me. Amen. Even when I would have to go to the Mount of Olives and sleep outdoors, y'all went home. And, and, and you know me. You know who I am. You know that I am the son of God. You know that, amen, I, amen, my father. You already know that. But listen, listen, I, I'm, I'm, I'm commissioning you to tell this story. But, amen, as Jesus got ready to go, he said, you ain't ready to tell it yet. Can I talk to somebody in here? Yeah. You've been coming to Providence, amen, year after year. Yeah. Hallelujah. And you know, you know this story. You know that, 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 that Jesus watches over you day in and day out. You know that when your back was against the wall, it was the Lord, amen, that came to your rescue. You already know that when your load got heavy, amen, it was the Lord that lined your heavy birth. You got to know that when, amen, you couldn't see your way clear. You got to know that it was the Lord that shined the light on your pathway. You got to know that. 
Hallelujah. You got to know when you was at the crossroads. I wasn't sure which direction to take. You got to know that it was the Lord that directed your footstep in the path. You got to know that, but honey, I'm, 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 hallelujah. You can't tell it. Hallelujah. The reason you can't tell it, Jesus says you're lacking something. So he says to them, hey, 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 yeah, yeah, go back to Jerusalem. I'm going to go to Jerusalem and wait right there. No matter how long it takes, you wait. And if you wait on God, oh, y'all ought to help me. How many know that if you wait on God, he's going to come to your rescue? How many know that if you... Oh, it, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. If you wait on him, after a while and by and by. Glory, hallelujah. Mm. That he's going to come to your rescue. So he, said, he says to them, as I say to, to us, some of, some of us this day, uh -huh. you know this story. Yeah. You know this story. Uh -huh. Hallelujah. But you can't tell it. In order to tell it, yeah. Dick and Pierce, you got to have the Holy Spirit. Yeah. That you you, you got to have some power. And let me tell you why you got to have some power. Yeah. If you go out here half caught, uh -huh. amen, Satan going to run you raggedy. Y'all remember? Y all, y all, y all, Y'all remember the story, amen, about, about the man wanted to, amen, cast out demons out of the fellow? Uh -huh. Amen, he, he says, amen, to the demon that's in the fellow, come out of him, uh -huh. come out of him. And, and, and the demon says to him, hallelujah, and I know Jesus, and I know Paul, but then who are you? The demons came out, jumped on the fellow that was trying to get him out, and, and, and he left worse than he came in. So you, 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 you don't play with him. He has to live with, I'm going to get to my text. He has to live within you. Can I get a witness? And if he lives within you, amen, you might not be able to read a tap. Might not even know your name when you see it. But if he lives in you, you got a testimony. Even if it's just to tell somebody, when I was sick, Thought I wasn't going to get well. He stopped by my house. Look, look, this check, this, this check, this. Amen. These seven, these seven parables in the 13th chapter of Matthew, this first parable. Amen. It, it, it is, hallelujah. It is believed that Jesus was, amen, talking to farmers. Can I talk to somebody? Because when Jesus used parables, Amen. He talked about something that his congregation was familiar with. Yeah. That's what a parable is. Uh -huh. Amen. So, so speaking with farmers for, amen, he says unto them, Lord, hallelujah, this, if this message began, he says unto them, behold, a sower, that's, that's part of my survey, a sower went forth to sow seed. Yes, the sower, amen, is a man, a woman of God yes. that God has sent forth. And I want you to know, it ain't just, it ain't just these folks up here, amen. and I'm almost amen. finished. It ain't just us. Yes. If you've been regenerated uh -huh. and born again, yes. that's your mandate well. as well. Let me finish, let me, let me finish this. He says, amen. So, so the sower, first of all, is a carrier of the word of God. Yes. That's the sower. Amen. He is a carrier because, amen, if he's not a carrier of the word, amen, he can't sow it. Uh -huh. Y'all with me? Yeah. yeah. See, seed, and I talked about this before, seed, amen, mm, my Lord, it's not money in, this, in, in the scriptures. It ain't money. Ooh, help me, man. It's the word of God. Yeah. So if you look at this text, it began by saying the preacher went forth to preach the gospel. Yeah. That's what it says. Yeah. And when he preached the gospel, everybody didn't hear it the same way. Yeah. Y'all with me? The, the text says, hallelujah. He went, hallelujah. Sowed the seeds. Hallelujah. Some of the seeds Fell by the wayside. Yeah. Fowl came and ate it up. Yeah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Mm. Glory. 
some of the seeds. Amen. You can sit on the same pew with one another. And I assure you, when you leave, the message you got from the gospel will be different than what your neighbor got. So my, my question is to you, when you hear the gospel, I'm gonna, when you hear the gospel, how do you receive it? If you let it fall on, amen, what, 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 what this, amen, some fell by the wayside. That's the old folks that's here, but you ain't, you, you're not in, you're attentive. Yeah. Oh, you're, you're here in body, uh -huh. but your mind is cross time yeah. or at the White House. Yeah. Hallelujah. And Jesus says in, 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 in this parable, when that happened, glory, hallelujah, when that happens, yeah. mm, you go away and just for a little while, yeah. Satan take away from you. That which you had already seen. Uh -huh. Can I get a witness? Yeah. So he says, not only did some fall on stony ground, yeah. some, hallelujah, fell among thorns. Yeah. You come and you get the word. Uh -huh. And because you didn't receive it in the spirit, yeah. as soon as you leave the sanctuary, uh -huh. amen, worldly stuff. Choke the word out. Yeah. Isn't God all right? Yeah. Jesus was talking about the word of God. Yeah. He was talking about sending forth an individual, amen, to teach the word of God. Yeah. And see, I can use the word teach because preaching is teaching. Uh -huh. And if you can't, who help me, Master? Yeah. If you can't teach, yeah. you can't preach. Yeah. Isn't God all right? He went forth, amen, to preach the gospel yeah. throughout all the world. Yeah. And he talks about, amen, the kind of soil, amen, that the seed falls in. Yeah. And when you're talking about soil, amen, in this text, yeah. you're talking about the man, the mind of an individual. Yeah. And the Lord, all right. Yeah. So Jesus, yeah. amen, kept Amen, telling this parable. Isn't God all right? Yeah. And when he had gone, amen, through the parable, yeah. some fell, hallelujah, in good ground yeah. and brought forth some fruit. Yeah. A hundredfold. And some, amen, brought forth sixtyfold. Yeah. And some brought forth thirtyfold. Yeah. Isn't God all right? So I want to talk about, just for a few minutes, amen, the seed, amen, that fell in good soil. Yeah. In God, all right. Yeah. When, amen, you leave the sanctuary, yeah. amen, you ought to bear some fruit. Yeah. In God, all right. Yeah. Somebody, Somebody ought to yeah. want to follow you, amen, to wherever you go to church at. In the Lord, all right. You see, fruit bearing, amen, is not what you do on Sunday morning. More rather, it's what you do on Monday morning. If you live right, amen, the world will see Jesus in you. In God, all right. Your fruit bearing, amen, depends on your everyday living. If you can't live right, amen, you can't bear no fruit. Amen. Jesus said some of the words fell in good soil. Yeah. And when they fell in good soil, amen, you received the Holy Spirit. Yeah. And when you received the Holy Spirit, you were able, amen, to rise above all the foolishness that goes on in the world. You were able, amen, to live in the world and not like act like worldly folk act. In God, all right. Jesus says somebody, amen, will bring forth, amen, 30. In God, all right. He talked about grain, but I, I want to talk about souls. In God, all right. Every day, amen, your daily walk, amen, determine, amen, your fruit bearing. In the Lord, all right. See, somebody ought to want to follow you, amen, by the way you live. They don't know about my preaching. 
many of them ain't never heard my preaching, but they know how you live. And if they come into poverty, they come in not because of my preaching, but they come because of your living. In God, all right. Jesus said, amen, the soil represents the mind of a man. In the Lord, all right, the fruit bearing, amen, represent, amen, being fruitful to the Lord. Amen, somebody, somebody got to see some Jesus in you. And the only way they can see Jesus in you, he got to dwell on your inside. Can I get a witness? Can I get a witness? Hallelujah, he said, let me close with He said, when anyone hears the word of the kingdom and, and understand it, then come at the wicked one and catch it away. Hallelujah. The word out of heart. But he that receives seed into the good ground is he that hears the word and understandeth it which also bearing much fruit and bringing forth some a hundredfold, some sixtyfold, and some thirtyfold. Isn't God all right? Will somebody follow you? Hallelujah. Where you go to church at? Will somebody, amen, listen to you tell about Jesus? born of the birth of Mary. Will somebody listen to you to tell you them that Jesus is a way out of no way. That Jesus is a burden bearer. Jesus is a midnight company keeper. Jesus is the root and offspring of David. Will somebody listen to you tell the gospel story? How Jesus walked on the bosom of a raging sea. How Jesus healed the sick, raised the dead. How Jesus clothed the lepers. How Jesus regulated the man of a mind. Will somebody follow your teaching of the word of God. Hallelujah. Tell somebody, Jesus, the lily of the valley. Jesus, the bridge over troubled water. Jesus, Nahum stronghold in the day of trouble. Jesus, Daniel Stone, who out the mountain, rolling down to Babylon, standing down the kingdom of the world. That same Jesus died on the cross, laid in the grave. But early the third day morning, he got up with all power in his hand. But somebody believe, amen, when you tell the story. You got to tell the story. In God, all right. Glory, hallelujah. 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 The soul went forth to preach. And can I tell you how that wound up? God, amen, writes the story. But then he calls somebody to tell the story just like he wrote it. In God, all right. And when you tell the story just like he wrote it, by the aid of the Holy Spirit, something going to happen. In God, all right. In God, all right. You can't tell it in the spirit and nothing happens. Something going to happen when you tell the story. In the Lord, all right. But it got to be in the spirit. Hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Glory, hallelujah. Will you receive the gospel this day? Will you tell somebody about Jesus? Will you tell him he's your all in all? Glory, hallelujah. That's the first of the seven, amen, parables in this 13th chapter. It's the teaching of the word of God. Jesus called sowing seed because he sends the sower. That's what this first, amen, that's six more to go. And I'm going to do them as the Lord give them to me. If you give them all to me, I'm going to do them all. Amen. But, but number one, number one is about, amen, seed sowing. Know that God expects you to be able to sow some seed. Amen. You might sow the seed in Ashburn. Get to Miami, Sam, and you reap that seed in Miami. Might sow it in New York and get to Ashburn. You reap that seed. As long as it's sown in the spirit. As long as, as the Bible says, as long as it falls in good soil. In this text, Matthew is talking about the mind of an individual when he classifies the type of soils that the seed falls in. Some of us already preoccupied. 
when the seed, amen, fall in thorn, we are we already preoccupied with our worldly, amen, stuff. We're so preoccupied, we ain't got time for the gospel, amen. But when you got time to receive, amen, seed, and you have time to receive seed, amen, tell the world, tell the world about the seed that you've received, amen, and, and, and it ain't about, it ain't about, amen, bring me some seed money. No, that's not what it's about. When you talk about seed money, you're talking about business, worldly business, carnal business. I mean, seed money, seed money, amen, is what men and women use to start a business. That's seed money, as you know. Seed money, if I'm starting a business, amen, you put up some seed money. What you're doing, you're putting into the business. And when the business is profitable, amen, you get your seed money back plus interest. Amen. This ain't the same thing. Amen. We're talking about the word of God. And I, I may have taken a little time to do that, but I, I want us to understand. Folks gonna get on television and say, send, send me $500 seed money. <laughs> That's not the word of God. I'm not, and I'm not telling you not to send it. I'm just telling you what the word of God says. Amen. Yeah. Let's church say Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Y'all sang as I opened the doors of the church. Amen. Amen. Choir. Y'all fill up the singing again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. As we open the doors of the church. You may come as a candidate for baptism. You may come by letter. You may come by experience. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on, hallelujah. Who else coming with you? Bring somebody else with you, hallelujah. Saturday is baptism Saturday. Brother Lewis. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to his name. Hallelujah. Come on. Come on. Amen. How you doing? Tell me you got another one. Amen. Anybody else? Anybody else want to come? Anybody else want to be baptized? Listen. I got enough deacon to baptize grown folks. <laughs> Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Isn't God all right? Amen. Amen. Let me, let me, let me just get down here and talk to you. Tell me your name. Saturday at one o'clock, ma'am, can you can you be here? Amen. We're gonna baptize Saturday if it's the Lord's will. Amen. At twelve o'clock. Twelve o'clock. If you need to be baptized, come on the baptism because I will open the doors of the church. 
Come on, amen, to the baptism and bring you some dry clothes to put on. Amen. Isn't God all right? Amen. Hey, come on, put your hands together. Let the church say, Dick and Johnson. Let the church say, Take them out to the seat. Let the church say, Yeah. 